divine empowerment bestowed on each believer by the Holy Spirit to accomplish a given ministry God's way according to his grace and discernment to be used within the context of the body of Christ. We move on to the second question. Does the Bible say anything about this spiritual gift? Yes. In the book of First Peter, I'm not going to be uh, reading the, 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 the verses. I'm just going to give you the quotes. The, the first one is First Peter 4, verse 10, Romans 12, verse 18, Ephesians 4, verses 1 to 8, as well as First Corinthians. Do all Christians the whole chapter. Do all Christians have spiritual gifts? Do all Christians have um, spiritual gifts? What do you think? Yes. 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 In the book of First Peter four verse ten, it says, "Each one should use whatever gift he has." Received to serve the others faithfully and ministering God's grace in its various forms. Surely, this says we all have spiritual gifts. Um, in Romans 4, verse, verse 10, we will get the answer as well. Now, whose responsibility is it to identify this gift? Is it um, my responsibility as a member, or is it the, 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 my pastor? My what what do you say on that one? My your responsibility. That's an individual. That's an individual. Yes, it's my, my responsibility as an individual to identify my, my gift so that I can be able to develop it and exercise it. It is also the the pastor or the church leader's responsibility to pick up or recognize the member's gifts so that they are able to know who to use and when. It's like a situation where as a as a so our pastors have to know now who's talented in a certain area. You know, I have a better to Uh, what is the purpose of the spiritual gifts? They equip members for the work of service. 
The church with members who know their gifts is very effective. An individual who knows his gift will develop and exercise it in a positive way. All in all, they promote the common good of the body of Christ to build up the church. <coughs> Where exactly in the Bible are these gifts listed or mentioned? We find them in Romans chapter 12, uh, in 1 Corinthians, I think the whole talks about the, the, the gifts, and Ephesians 4, yes, but to mention a few of the gifts, I'm not going to go all. I'm not going to go over all of them, but just to mention a few. We have prophecy, we have giving, we have faith, we have teaching, we have healing, we have leadership, we have service, we have mercy, we have knowledge, we have wisdom, we have pastoring, we have help, we have miracle, the list goes on. How then can I identify my gift? You can download a prepared questionnaire about the spiritual gifts, which is also prepared to guide us in discovering our gifts. Or we can also attend spiritual gifts seminars. Another way would be exploring the possibility of experimenting as many gifts as possible. Otherwise, if you don't try all the gifts, it may not be easy for you to know which one belongs to you. We are also advised to examine our feelings by checking if we have a sense of satisfaction in what we do as we use our gifts. You know, sometimes you Go on with this gift, and every time, whatever you do with your gift, you are not happy with the results. That means that gift is not yours. You have to be happy with the results that you get from using your gift. Uh, we can also evaluate our effectiveness. Check if you are. If you see appropriate results whenever you use this gift, most importantly, seek divine wisdom and pray about it. God will help you to discover your gift. How do I use my spiritual gifts to develop my own personal ministry? After identifying your gift, you can now go and match them with any of the major areas of the church life. This will give a, a member an idea of where she or he can serve most of the time. We are made aware that some gifts may fit into more than one area depending on the circumstances and the needs they fulfill. Therefore, therefore, let us not be hesitant to serve in more than one area. As Christians, we have been called to 
a ministry for the glory of God, not our own. We are therefore urged to discover, develop, and exercise the gifts because they will help us in our day-to-day -day life and in our principal roles in the church and outside for the advancement of the kingdom of God. This is the end of my presentation. Thank you.